joined by the man behind the poster, artist Drew Struzan. Drew, how you doing? Good, thanks. I have to ask, how's retirement? I wouldn't know. Yeah? You've yeah. been busy. I, I'm actually more busy now than I was ever when I was working. Yeah. I used to stay in the studio, the phone would never ring, there was no computer, there was no mail, there, nobody was here, and I could just paint, and I thought I was working hard. I worked 18 hours a day, but it was I was producing something. Yeah. Now I never do any work, but I'm busier all day long. I blame the computer for everything. What happened was I was communicating online to a fan in Spain, I think it was. And he, he says, you know, so what are you doing now? I says, well, I'm not doing anything. I'm not getting any work anymore. I should just retire. Next day it hits the web, Drew retires. <laughs> I didn't say that, but it went viral everywhere. And so I went, I asked my accountants, if I retire, could I live? And he says, yeah, you'd be all right, you know. I says, okay, I'll let it go. So I retired. I still paint for friends and loyal people. I mean, if George calls, I'll do it because it's George. He kept me alive, me and my family alive for 35 years. How could I say no to something like that? Exactly. So I'm retired in a funny kind of way. I can't retire from my friends and my family. So There is a documentary coming out about yes. you. Okay. It's called Drew, the man behind the poster. That's what they called it. And how did this how did this come about well you aren't the only freaks that are passionate about making movies and stuff. <laughs> uh, these guys these couple independent guys made a movie and when they were done they thought wouldn't it be cool if we could get me to do the poster so they did what you do to get me to do it they called and said would you do it and i said okay yeah. So I did their poster for them. When it was done and they got it distributed and then got it onto CD and everything was cool and done, they said, now what are we going to do? You know, we got to make more movies. Mm -hmm. I guess I was the only guy they ever met. So they said, let's make a movie about Drew. Harrison Ford, Michael J. Fox, Frank Darabont. Um, th these people are, are fans of your work. What's it like when you know, in these interviews, they're praising your work and they know who you are and they know your work and they're familiar w with what you've done. What's that feel like? I mean, obviously it feels great, but... Everybody in the film, the doc, volunteered their time. They were asked to do it and they all jumped at it. Mm -hmm. and, and George Lucas never gives interviews, right? Three hours. I found that very odd because, well, you know, I mean, I've worked with George for, what, 35, 40 years, but... I never met Harrison Ford. I never met most of the people in the movie, and yet they all talk like we're old friends, because they're old friends with my work. But in this documentary, they don't talk about their movies, their new projects. All they talk about is me. It's really fun for that reason. I think others will love the movie because they'll see them in a different way than they have normally seen them. They'll see them being themselves instead of a character. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you find out that, well, these are nice people. Yeah. You know? Speaking of Drew the Man behind the poster, uh, some of the fans were wondering why the, the poster for the documentary is not painted. It should be easy enough to understand. First of all, it's, it's not my film. Mm -hmm. Some directors and producers are making a film they want to make. It happens to be about me. I mean, Tom Hanks isn't going to paint his picture for his movie poster. <laughs> he would have had to, I'm sure. Yeah. It's about me, and then for me to paint it makes it look like it's my film. And it's, and it's not. It belongs to all the other people. So I just thought it was like being e egotistical mm -hmm. to do such a thing. And I wouldn't know how to paint that anyway. So, so I gave it to the, the next best person. I gave it to my son to do. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fun, I thought it was much more appropriate, and I thought he did a wonderful job. I mean. uh, you worked with Mondo recently. Yes. Okay, uh, Frankenstein, and uh, The Thing mm -hmm. was, uh, was reissued uh, and, and sold. I don't know, I guess my question is, do you have any more uh, projects you're going to be working with Mondo on? Uh, remember the movie The Mist that Frank Darabont directed? Of course, directed? Uh, there's a great documentary. About remember who the TV star of the movie was? Is, is Thomas Jane, but he plays a movie poster. No, he plays me. He plays you, the movie poster. It's <laughs> yeah, Drew Struzan, yeah. yes. And in the opening of the movie, it was a painting, a picture, remember? Mm -hmm. yes. Remember what the 
the picture it was? was for Dark Tower. Yeah, but everybody would like to see the movie. Mm -hmm. So I did the poster for it. And that's going to be Mondo's next poster. Oh, that's great. Or at least the next one from me. Yeah. Is that painting from the movie for the Dark Tower. Now, in your career, is there a movie poster that you wish you had done? Are you kidding? <laughs> I worked through most people's lifetime that listen to this. And all the movies they loved that changed the world for the last 40 years or more. I did get to work on those. I mean, I did do Back to the Future. Yeah, Goonies. Which is still alive. And Goonies. Huge. Yeah, uh, to say nothing of Indiana Jones. Oh, Star well, I wasn't Wars. even there yet. And Harry yeah. Potter. And yeah, York, so yeah. I don't know where anybody else got work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. No, I, I have nothing to, to look back on and say I wish I had. Mm -hmm. I, I fulfilled more than I ever dreamed of. So We'd ha We have to ask. If... Disney calls, or has, have they called? <laughs> Don't the new start Star another Wars. rumor. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, what would your answer be, or have you been approached by Disney for the new Star Wars movies? I have not. Print that. I have not been asked by Disney. I have not talked to Disney. I have not heard from Disney. I haven't got a letter from Disney. Disney has no thoughts about it. I'm sure it's a couple years off yet. I want to leave it to the next generation to do what's appropriate for them. So I had my run, and I'm happy with it. If they ask, that's another question. There's a what if question. Yeah. So no, I mean, there's other artists out there that are as good or better than I ever hoped to be. I just had a wonderful blessing by being at the right time in the right place, and I did the best I could. No, I'm swearing. Is that not all anybody can do? Well, give the next guy in line a chance too, yeah. please. You know, I will jump for joy when it comes out and somebody else gets to do it and they get to be happy. Hello and thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video right down below with a thumbs up and make a comment. I do respond to comments and subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber and tell your friends and family about Future Finds. And remember, your collection is whatever you make it. So make it a good one all of you. Thank you, and we'll see you again soon.